Rosalind Lecht is the director of the Clayton County Library System. She facilitates the strategic planning and the vision of the library's programs and services with the needs of the community. Director Lett received her bachelor's degree in life sciences from Alabama A&M University, her master's of library and information studies from Atlanta University, and her executive master's in business administration with emphasis on global leadership and international businesses from Georgia State University. Additionally, her articles have been published in leading medical journals and in two editions of the Encyclopedia of Library and Information Science, as well as being quoted in Medicine on the Net. Today, we're going to talk about the COVID-19 vaccine. The COVID-19 vaccine is an mRNA vaccine. So what does that mean? It means that it's a messenger RNA vaccine. So let's take that a step further and find out a little bit more about the vaccine. The information that I'm going to discuss today is coming from Medline Plus. Medline Plus is a database presented by the National Library of Medicine, which is free to consumers and it contains lay level health information. So in Medline Plus, the first thing we're gonna do is start off by doing a search and we're gonna to go to health topics and type in mRNA COVID-19 vaccine. Now, if you look at our results, you will see one that's entitled COVID-19 vaccine get the facts. When we look a little closer at that, you'll see that it's written by the Mayo Clinic and you'll see the facts. So let's talk about the facts. This vaccine cannot give anyone COVID-19. It's an mRNA vaccine. mRNA vaccines do not use the live virus that causes COVID-19. They do not affect or interact with our DNA in any way. mRNA never enters the nucleus of the cell, which is where our DNA genetic material is kept. The immune cells will break down and get rid of the mRNA soon after it is finished using the instructions. So the mRNA is bringing a message to your body and once the body receives that message, it gets rid of those instructions. So let's talk a little bit more about what is mRNA. It's a new approach to vaccines. It's messenger ribonucleic acid. mRNA vaccines are a new type of vaccine to protect against infectious diseases. To trigger an immune response, many vaccines put weakened or inactivated germs into our body. But mRNA vaccines don't do this. Instead, they teach our cells how to make a protein or even just a piece of a protein that triggers an immune response inside our body. That immune response, which produces antibodies, is what protects us from getting infected if the real virus enters our body. So let's take a closer look at how COVID-19 mRNA vaccines work. The COVID-19 mRNA vaccine gives instructions to our cells to make a harmless piece of what is called the spike protein, the S protein. So this spike protein is found on the surface of the virus that causes COVID-19. So if you've seen the pictures, you've seen the spikes that come out of the cells that they show the picture of the virus itself. COVID-19 mRNA vaccines are given in the upper arm muscle. Once the instructions, the mRNA, are inside the body and inside the immune cells, the cells use them to make the protein piece. After the protein piece is made, the cell breaks down the instructions and gets rid of them. So, in a nutshell, the mRNA brings a message to your body and it's telling your body to make a replica of this spike protein. So when you recognize it and when you see it, you need to go into fight mode. So at that point, when you're introduced to the virus, at any point, your body now knows to start fighting to keep that out of your body. Now our immune system recognizes 
that that they are proteins and this protein doesn't belong in the body. So it begins to build that immune response by making antibodies. And this is what happens in our natural infections. So when you have other infections, your body makes antibodies and it fights it off. So that's pretty much what the vaccine is doing for you. And at the end of the process, our bodies have learned how to protect themselves against future infections. So what are the benefits of mRNA vaccines? Like all vaccines, is those vaccinated, they gain this protection without ever having to risk a serious consequence of getting sick from COVID-19. And as you know, a lot of people have gotten very sick and a lot of people have died from COVID. So how does it really work? mRNA sends a message to your cells. Your cells identify the spike protein, called an S protein. When the protein is detected, the mRNA tells the cells to fight it. Your immune system begins to fight and does not let any of the protein in your body. So there are vaccines that have been approved for use thus far. You have Pfizer, which has 95% efficacy rate. You have Moderna, which has a 94.1% efficacy rate. Now both Pfizer and Moderna are vaccines that are given twice. So there's either a 21 or a 28 day cycle before you get your second vaccine. And what does efficacy rate mean? It means the percentage of people who are protected. So if it has a 95% rate, that means 95% of the people who take it will be protected from COVID-19. And what are the benefits of getting the COVID vaccine? Well, it will prevent you from getting COVID-19 or from becoming seriously ill or dying due to COVID-19. It will prevent you from spreading the COVID-19 virus to others. And that's really important to protect you and your family. And you will be added to the number of people in the community who are protected getting the COVID-19 vaccine. And thus we will start to develop herd immunity. It also can prevent you spreading it or replicating it from other ways. So if it mutates and other things as it has been doing, you now have a resistance to those mutated strains. So what are the side effects of taking the COVID-19 vaccine? Well, it can cause some mild side effects after the first or second dose. And those can be pain, redness or swelling, where the shot was given. You can have a slight fever, fatigue, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, nausea and vomiting, feeling unwell, and swollen lymph nodes. But all in all, it really is a good vaccine for you to take because we all want our normal lives back. And the more people we get vaccinated, the faster we will get back to some sense of normalcy. But I have a few reminders for you. Keep in mind that it will take a few weeks for your body to build up immunity after getting the COVID vaccine. So do not take any other vaccinations during the time that you're taking the COVID vaccine. Give your body enough time to build up the immunity to COVID-19 before you take any other kinds of vaccine. But you also want to continue to social distance. You want to continue to wear your mask and you want to continue to wash your hands as often as you can. And remember, don't congregate and be careful to stay safe. There is light at the end of this dark COVID tunnel and we will get there together if we get vaccinated and stay safe.